one, do you want to learn full stack web development for free and get placed in top tech companies? Check out Act Your Job Scholarship Test where you can win 100% scholarship on a job guarantee full stack web development program. What are you waiting for then? Register now by clicking on the link below. It creates a kind of a discipline for you because you have to attend daily classes, you have to uh, regularly watch those videos, uh, do the assignments and so the people who are not really very self-motivated, which is a lot of people in college, so unke liye it is really helpful. So hi everyone, this is Yashwardhan. I'm one of the co-founders here at Accio Job, and today we have Manish with us, who is a student of Accio Job, who's gotten placed recently with HSBC in a software development role. And in today's sort of conversation with uh, uh, Manish, we'll keep it really candid and really honest, and. Uh, understand from Manish about his entire journey, how there were, I'm sure it was a roller coaster, so how did that go? And we'll deep dive a little more about his insights and how what sort of learning pattern did he follow, uh, what worked well for him, uh, what did not, what did he focus most on and what were the things which he found most uh, advantageous during his journey, right? So let's just dive right in and start with uh, uh, a chota sa introduction of Manish first, right? Uh, to understand where does he come from? How was his schooling like? Where is he born and brought up? How was his college life like, right? So, hi Manish, how was it? Hi, Ash. So, I belong to Bareilly, where I completed, I did my early education for until 12th. And it has been great. Then I gave UPTU and I joined AKG uh, for my engineering and uh, in information technology. And then I graduated in 2020, joined Simply Learn as a research analyst from campus placement. Mm -hmm. Did not had a mm -hmm. core role, but yeah, it was a good start. So, and then mm -hmm. I worked there and for some reasons I had to leave the job. And uh, then I wanted to shift to a more core role. And uh, I started looking at some, at these placement programs and I came across active job. I liked it. I joined it and it has been great. Perfect, perfect. That's a gist of Manish summary. So let's just deep dive straight in from there, Manish. So what was that time when you started thinking, Yaar, now I want to switch to a core software development role and not just stick to research analyst role? Yeah, right. So the company was great, the work culture was great and the people were amazing. So mm -hmm. for in terms of the work culture, I had a great time there. But uh, after the first two months when I got a grasp of the work that I was supposed to do, and I started doing this, uh, doing it and around three, four months, uh, I was convinced that I did not want to do it. I want, did not want to make it as my entire career. So I talked to my colleagues out there and they were, they were very helpful. They told me that if you wanted to switch to a different role, you should take up some courses and start learning. And because a lot of people from my team were also doing that upskilling themselves mm -hmm. and moving into mm -hmm. uh, different ro roles that they wanted to. So I thought about it, but uh, then some things happened at my home and I had to leave my job. And uh, then around two, three months later, I started researching about Accio job. Uh, during those two, three months after I left uh, Simply Learn, I was looking for some core roles. I studied a mm -hmm. little, I was looking for some core roles uh, off campus, applying on LinkedIn and Monster and uh, everything else. But I did not get many callbacks and one or two, I did get callbacks, but they were not um, very great companies or not very great roles, not the ones I wanted. So I thought of joining a proper program with proper placements assistance. So that was the key differentiator, differentiator between Simply Learn and Accio. And of course, mm -hmm. the pay after placement process. And I just took a leap of faith and joined Accio. Got it. Okay. Now let's just deep dive a little bit more on the course part then. Ki, yeah. uh, uh, uske baad, like after you joined the program, right? How was the entire journey like? What typically helped you a lot? Who was your instructor? Uh, how did you like him? And uh, uh, Ishani, I think, was your batch manager, right? Yes, so how was, how was Ishani's help and assistance for you as well? So... 
first off ishani has been very helpful she has pushed me a lot of times when i was being inconsistent she has pushed me a lot of time in terms of mock interviews in placements and everything so that has actually kept me on track at times because i was kind of going off track and uh, yeah ishani has helped a lot so apart from that uh, in terms of course so i started my journey with dsa structure right so it mm-hmm. went on for an, around 3 or 4 months for first 4 months was dsa and sundar was our instructor and he was a pretty good teacher so uh, for the first 2 months i was very consistent and uh, everything he taught with good examples and since it was live classes we could ask doubts uh, over there and of course we had a separate doubt session every day um so yeah the dsa was going pretty good and uh, around the basic part i covered very well and then the intermediate part i was a little inconsistent but i still attended the classes uh but yeah one thing that helped me was uh even if i am inconsistent whenever i got time uh, in a week i would still try to solve some questions on lead code so that has actually really helped Got it. Understood. So, how was the entire placement process with HSBC like? क्या 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 rounds हुए थे? So, the first round was a behavior behavioral test. So, uh, mm-hmm. that was on the HSBC website. We did. Uh, I uh, attended that test around twelve in the night because they sent the link very late. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So, that was a behavioral test. It was around ten uh, fifteen minutes. very basic test mm. and then they shortlisted uh, some people based on that test and then there was mm-hmm. a first test uh, for aptitude and coding uh, mm-hmm. that test happened i cleared that and then they uh, scheduled an interview for all the people uh, the interview mm-hmm. happened and three people got selected and then we had an hr final round and yeah i think you have had a decent quite a decent run right so but thoda sa ups and downs mm-hmm. during the journey sometimes consistent sometimes putting in the hours sometimes maybe slacking off a little bit uh, but mm-hmm. here yeah. still slowly and steadily gaining those required skill sets and yes, conversion are yeah, finally so that's the best part that okay uh, an offer is on the table if if you were to look back and think of right uh, what do you think what kind of people and students should enroll for boot camps and programs like accio job right uh, which is almost like a like we are running a, on almost like a college right we run admissions we run training yeah, yeah, we yeah, run absolutely. placements we run everything right so uh, what what would you suggest to students if you are looking back on the entire journey right that uh, what is the right time when should you look up to such pro- such programs what kind of people can this be a very 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 big a uh, value add for in terms of their career trajectory going forward i guess uh, if i would have joined this course in during my college time it would have been much much better for me so mere khayal se around second year second third year would be a very good time to join such a course such a hmm. uh, program jisme aap actually mein practical skills seekhoge there are very few students jo self motivated hai right Uh, hmm. most of them wo ye curriculum uh, follow kar rahe hain college ka they are giving exams getting good marks bad marks etc getting placed in basic companies jo college mein aati hain mass placements and everything hmm. so apart from the self motivated people uh, because um, i was not self motivated youtube pe sara content available hai of course everyone knows hmm. it and hmm. very good instructors over there too but uh, first off ki it is not organized it is in an half as half as way so idhar udhar you um, i could not understand ki exactly kis uh, structure mein padhu unko kis structure mein videos dekhu so that was one of the reasons i wanted an organized course so and second reason was ki uh, it creates a kind of a discipline for you because you have to attend daily classes you have to uh, regularly watch those videos uh, do the assignments and so the people who are not really very self motivated which is a lot of people in college so unke liye it is really helpful got it got it i think that is very very well said i would say right aisa nahi hai ki uh without such a program people cannot upskill and cannot get play right uh, of course people can but uh, yeah what exactly do we get as a value add in terms of accio job as a program uh, is exactly what you said right we structure it in a very very 
uh, suitable manner for the student we push them actually to uh, act, uh, work hard with us actually focus on the right skill sets plus we make it so much more uh, uh, less barrier journey right i i would i would say that because otherwise a, a someone coming from a tier 3 college or a tier 4 college right usko agar kabhi mock interview karna hai to usko 10 logo ko reach out karna padega aur wo tier 1 mein nahi hota hai kyunki unke paas accessible seniors hain jinhone same journey ki hai right but tier 4 college mein shayad uski senior ne ye journey ki hi nahi hai unhone wo journey dekhi hi nahi hai right ki wo culture hi nahi hai ki ha everyone is practicing dsa and uh, everyone is helping out with the resume with the projects and right. it's just no in fact ki sabko ye karna hai aisa nahi hai wahan pe right to wahan pe i think such programs they one get a lot of structure to what you should be focusing on and how quickly you can execute it also right plus stay consistent and motivated through that journey and plus make it very very uh, बैरियर फ्री बना देता है वो आपके लिए क्योंकि आपको सब कुछ प्लेट पे लाके रख देते हैं आपके साथ में राइट कि हाँ यार आपको जर्नी में जरूरत पड़ेगी प्रोजेक्ट बिल्डिंग की डेफिनेटली पड़ेगी बिकॉज यू वांट टू बिल्ड अ गुड रेज्यूम है राइट तो वो ऑलरेडी है अवेलेबल यू हैव द राइट पीपल टू गाइड यू हाउ वट सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट विच प्रोजेक्ट कैन यू मेक राइट आपको मॉक इंटरव्यूज देने पड़ेंगे क्योंकि पीपल गिव इंटरव्यूज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दे बॉम्ब राइट तो आपको मॉक इंटरव्यूज देने चाहिए थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आए और वो आपको अगर आप टी फोर कॉलेज से यू हैव टू राइट फाइंड द राइट पीपल जो आपकी मदद कर सकते हैं उस साइड पे वो सारा पार्ट आपका Uh, on a platter literally there are mentors who can help you out there right uh, all the other guidance across which direction to move into in your career right all of that gets sorted very very uh, well i think yes that is exactly how uh, i also see the problem right ki koi puchta hai tier 1 aur tier 4 college mein difference kya hai sirf yahi difference hai yaar uh, tier 1 mm-hmm. college mein bhi i think uh, wo log full stack development and uh, Uh, extremely good DSA for Google or a Microsoft पे focus नहीं कर रहे होते हैं मतलब इट इज द कॉलेज करिकुलम तो नहीं कर रहा होता है राइट वो बच्चे खुद से कर रहे हैं जस्ट बिकॉज दे नो द सीनियर ये कर ले तभी नौकरी लगेगी राइट तो आई थिंक दैट इज द ओनली डिफरेंस एंड वी ट्राई एंड क्रिएट दैट एंटायर एनवायरमेंट एंड कम्युनिटी फॉर अ पर्सन कमिंग फ्रॉम अ टीयर फोर टीयर थ्री टीयर टू टीयर वन कहीं से भी आओ एवरी वन विल गेट एक्सेस टू ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विच आर नीडेड टू सॉर्ट ऑफ क्रैक अ ग्रेट जॉब सो यार रियली वेल सेड आई थिंक यार कॉन्टेंट तो जगह अगर किसी में सीखने का सेल्फ मोटिवेशन है दे कैन ऑलवेज फाइंड अ वे टू लर्न एंड एक्चुअली गेट प्लेस देम सेल्व ऑल्सो राइट सो या आई थिंक रियली वेल सेड यार मनीष तो Yep, moving on. I think one last question I want to ask you. So, yeah, sure. one advice for all the upcoming Acio Job students, and you have reflected on your entire Acio Job journey. I'm sure you know a few places where you could have done better. कि हाँ यार यहाँ पे मैं थोड़ा और ये कर लेता, मैं थोड़ा और ध्यान देता या इस time पे थोड़ा और कर लेता. तो शायद ये भी हो जाता, ये भी हो जाता. और इन चीजों पे ध्यान देना चाहिए, right? So you've been through that journey, so you have a lot of learnings from it. Uh, so uh, what would your advice be for all the upcoming Acio Job students, right? And all your uh friends across in the batch my advice would be uh okay so stay consistent so that's just my one advice uh do sometimes it it'll, it is not possible to complete the assignments or do 5 10 questions daily that's okay but consistency is actually the key as long as you're solving questions daily you're doing some practice some amount of practice you will get into some company or the other you will get into some place or the other which is a good place so yeah be consistent attend classes be consistent and yeah that's about it okay guys so that was an amazing conversation with manish really insightful and uh, i'm sure all of you got to learn quite a bit about his journey and what to focus on what not to focus on Uh, if you are looking for an amazing experience just like manish uh, do head over and join acio jobs upcoming batches right the link for it is given in the description also do like share and comment on this video if you found it relatable if you find if you have more suggestions for what content should we come out with and uh, uh, do subscribe to the channel for all the upcoming videos as well thank you